All right, <clears throat> welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are doing another episode. So we're actually going to start here at um, at Germany. I guess we'll go ahead and take the daily in case we finish the daily. I, I really would like, especially while it's daytime here, I'd like to try to find a tinch. I think last time we were thinking maybe down here where this tree's overhanging. I don't know. Let's just give it a try. We'll just set up on uh, peg one here. Don't we have some like tench? Yeah. All right, so we've got cheese. Is this a zero hook? Yeah, that's fine. Let's just put it right out here. It's a little farther than I intended, but that's fine. We also have, I'm wondering if we want to go to one hook. Maybe we'll go grab, let's see, what is this, crab? Maybe we'll go grab, um, oh, that's too heavy. What were some of the other hook, um, the other baits we were hoping to catch a tench on? Like worm? What were the other baits? I feel like I thought that cheese was going to have our best chance. I mean, obviously, once we get crawfish tails, that probably becomes a lot easier. I do think we should go zero hook. One hook, we're going to get into, like, carp and stuff. Like with those crab boilies. So let's try this with zero hook. Yeah, we're already catching carp. Let's go there. Yeah, I think with this one, we'll also go cheese on this one. Without ground bait. And I actually want this just to go right here in front of us. And this one will go to zero hook. Crab. Tench. A little deeper. But still pretty close in front of us here. I probably don't need to get the boat since we're using zero hooks, right? We're just trying to find a tent somewhere, folks. So in case you didn't see the last episode for some reason, right now we're just trying to <coughs> wrap up this uh, catching all the fish on this species. Sorry, on this map. And I'm realizing I need to switch to this, don't I? And... Uh, Tench is the one we're focusing on first. Trout and brook trout, we don't think will be too difficult. We don't think. Um, once we have our um, fly fishing, right? All right, let's, oop, never mind. All right, this could be the tench. They like this crab. Probably a small cart, but it could be the tench. What? Yeah, that's a mirror carp. I was like, what is that little fella? By the way, oh, it's gone now. There was a quest for like two carp or something I was like man catching these small ones that's gonna be like cheating but we'll take it all right we'll give this a little bit longer if something doesn't pop out then um, we'll try a different spot I don't know we may need to get in the boat and actually like go on the other side or something like I'm wondering if over there below that tree 
The one good thing I'll say about this is we're getting some nice, potentially some nice fish offals, which I kind of like. Uh, I think that'll come into handy, come in handy. We do have 16 angler tokens. I was wondering like what our token situation was right now. All right, let's see what quests we have. What are we looking forward to trying to get into tonight? Um, burbot, no thanks. We're never going to catch 68 kilos of burbot. I mean, that's just that sounds like miserable. Arctic char. So that's kind of unfortunate. Probably not one we're going to go for there either. Okay, by the way, let me go ahead and talk about our club. I definitely want to start a club. Uh, in the in the last episode that I talked about the club, which I think was two episodes ago, several people have said, yes, I want to be in the club. So that's awesome. I'm Thank you for all of the excitement, support. The only barrier now is me just getting the silver to, you know, start the club, right? Um, so if any of you that have been playing this game a while or whatever... If you have any thoughts on a way that I could sort of fast track trying to get that the amount of silver I need for the club, um, I just don't want to not think of ideas of ways to do that, but I definitely want to do that. So um, we'll work on on trying to accomplish that. But I'm, I'm glad to hear a lot of people would, join, would, would want to join the club. And so we will, um, you know, we'll pursue that. I mean, I've got 1,000 silver. I think I need 18,000 for the club token, if I remember correctly. But we have to balance that. We still want to progress with gear and stuff, especially, you know, as we're going to be getting to later maps here as we're leveling. Um, we can probably, one of the ways we'll make silver faster is by... Um, what am I trying to say? Having better gear, honestly. So we'll just have to balance all that. But as soon as I can prioritize that, like reasonably, um, we'll start doing that. All right, where else do we want to try? I mean, I, I just, we're not seeing them here, right? I just feel like... Mm. Heck, maybe right over there at six. I don't know. This probably would be so much easier with um, this probably would be so much easier with crawfish tailed, right? I'm just guessing. Perhaps. Ooh, maybe at 10. Did we try it at 10? I feel like we did, right? Isn't that the first place we tried? That does have the stuff hanging in the water. See, I feel like I remember from a long time ago 
sometimes getting tinched down there at the end. But again, the map is pretty different now from, from back then. So I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too much time like... It's like, you know, if there's a... Um, if there's a bait that we're going to be eventually be able to get, even now, like we might be able to co go get crawfish tail at Russia. I don't remember if crawfish are there or not, but we might be able to. And if we can, then I hate to, um, you know, spend too much time trying to get it now when it would just be more efficient later on with a different bait. Well, it definitely feels like the Crucians are right here. All right, I'm turning on rod inertia. I don't know what that means, but I hear it's good to turn it on. <laughs> Let's see if we notice a difference. Goodness gracious, we did it. Okay, we did it. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. We actually did it. Um, all right, the next question is... Where do we think these bees will be? Where do we think these guys will be? Okay, I'm going to try something. So I looked it up. There's a video from a while ago of someone fishing for these little things way down here. basically right here. It looks like they're primarily using maggots. So I'm going to go I'm going to go um, 
two maggots and one haven't even actually seen them catch one yet but I'm assuming they will All right, it's going to be smaller than that. These things are tiny. Ooh, a large rud. That's pretty cool. What if we catch this? Are we going to go for trout and brook trout without the um, without the wait? We just need three pieces of carp. One, two. Yeah, we just take that real quick. All right, we just need one more carp and we've got that income quest. That's 88 silver. Could this be one? Eh, it's probably a little too big. I feel like this little fish is just something we're gonna have to be patient for. But if we're patient, we might actually eventually get one down here. It does look like they've been caught down here. Again, mostly on maggot, but we'll see. Uh, looks like, at least according to the records, the bigger ones have recently come out on bloodworm. So that's why I'm using one bloodworm just in case, but I'm also tempted to go grab the boat because we might set up for carp down here on our one bigger rod. But I don't really want to, um, because our gear is still a little undersized, even our bigger thing, I don't really want to fish for carp without the, at least the possibility of going and grabbing it on a boat if we need to. And we're just past this last peg, right? I bet we could have caught tench down here too. This just looks like tench country to me. I'm wondering if we just, ah, we'll come down. Can we get off here? Oh, we may not be able to get off here. Okay. Back it up, back it up. So we probably won't need the boat, but just in case. All right, what's on there? All three. Crucian. This could be it. Okay, just for a minute. Hopefully, let's go ahead and um, 
size one hook. Let's go strawberry and let's go carp and let's throw it out there a little bit so it's not messing with our other ground bait. Let's see what we can do here. I wouldn't mind casting these a little shorter. Okay, so if we go for trout and brook trout, let's say we get this last fish. So we can do bait fish, potentially. And supposedly cheese will sometimes catch these. You would think size zero hooks, right? Do we have a crucian crust? For squid. That's a lot of crucian. You eventually can buy squid, but it's not for a long time till we get to there. I wouldn't mind doing that gudgeon quest. For salmon row because we'd get a bunch of bait fish at the same time right just in case we want to do that I'm gonna take it I don't know that we will but just in case I wonder if these guys don't bite till nighttime that's a little roach Crucian. Carp rod's been pretty, pretty, pretty slow down here. Just may not be a good carp part of the map. If we don't get something soon, we'll switch it back out to the other one. And then we'll catch another, a third carp, you know, up further up the map where we know we can get them. All right, this could be it. It's got to be either that or a roof, right? Ruffy. I figured it'd be one or the other. Uh, could this be it? Maybe a little too big. Yeah. Definitely not it. Do we ever go with a smaller leader? Would that matter? I don't think so. Not much, at least. Ooh, look at that little bream. Struggle, struggle. We're over halfway there on the daily now. Uh-oh.
It's a Miracarp. Too big? Ooh, nice. Oh, we just need two pieces. We've got that, right? Yeah. Easy quest. Man, I kind of like this quest system. This is the first time I've ever actively done this. In other words, tried to look for quests that I can fill with fish that are already in my fish net. For a long time when I played this, I just didn't even know you could do that. And then even after I did know you could do that, I never thought to do that. But now I'm doing it all the time and it is a beautiful thing. Ah, oh, it's another mirror. Why are we stuck on the mirror? Think about switching the bait or something. See if we can't get a regular carp down here. Maybe put out corn or potato, maybe? I like that large crucian, though. Corn. I'm going to go corn. I believe in you, corn. We just need another cart, right? That is not the droid that we're after. I like these Crucians that are showing up though. Some decent silver. Salmon row 15.9 per. We're about to get 13 salmon if we get the gudgeon quest done. And as much as I'd love to ha have salmon row right now, if we're trying to save up for that, um, you know, getting that guild, we probably should kind of make as many resources as we can go towards you know making silver hey we did it now as long it's not a large carp so I'm fine putting this towards the quest Yes. All right, we finished that quest. Whoa. Our gudgeon disappeared. No, it didn't. That was our daily. Our gudgeon is still there. Good, 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 good. This little roach. All right. Oh, this could be it. 
This could be it right here. Uh, is it a roughy? It's a little roofy. Alright, let's go here. We're going to fully embrace this again. Uh, I'll do this one without... We'll get this one really close. No ground bait on that one. Oh, this could be it. I think this is it. I just, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. This is going to be it. Oh! False alarm. <sighs> False alarm. The bloodworm's got a better bite rate, but we'll see if it, if it ends up coming in on maggot, though. Or if it comes in at all, I guess. When can we accept another quest? Four minutes. Ten minutes, but we've got the gudgeon one. 14 minutes, okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But look at that bait fish. Think it's gonna happen or not?
I mean, I was hoping this was going to be at night. Now it's night, and the bite rate has almost completely died. Let's keep hoping, though. All right, Xander for 80 silver. Rudd. Oh, please, 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 please. I'll take the bait fish, though. I mean, maggot for a bait fish, I'll take that trade every day. Especially so we can have a variety of baits and stuff, you know? There's a roach. Bread, fish pieces, bread crumbs. Minced bread. I've never seen this before. Minced bread. I just love there's so much you can craft now in the game. I'm also intrigued by the token system. I don't understand yet what all the tokens are from or for. I also don't know... What are these? Oh, a card? A sealed card. What do we do with it? Like, I thought these were things that we used to be able to, like, open or something. Now it's just a card, and I don't know... Like, what's, you know, what can that lead to? Do the cards turn into something? Is it just for funsies? Oh, come on. Come on, Barbibutsula. Oh! <gasps> it's a rough. At least the bite rate's starting to pick up again. It's a little less boring. That's a little bream. Seven minutes. This one will be gone. All right, let's get rid of some stuff. Um, ooh, we got, we, we critted our fish, fish offals there. Okay, so minced bread. I am sort of fascinated by that. Chopped something, shredded fish, ground shrimp, chopped mussels, sea predator, algae, bunch of live bait, sea bunch, bunch of clams, crayfish bunch, bunch of giblets, bunch of fish meat, caviar bag, and bunch of worms times five. Another crucian. It's a little 
little too big. Might go sell a bunch of fish just to clear our net out. But I hate to do that if we're like about to get it. Because then we can go by their base camp anyway. I, uh,. I just never knew we were going to be here this long. I wonder if we should try bark beetle on one. What is that? Is that a big roof? The roof. Is there a fish on this line? Or was that just like a nibble happening? Oof, I hope that wasn't. We might as well take the gudgeon income quest if we're going to do the other gudgeon thing, right? If we're going to do it. Now, we might decide not to, but... Come on, big money, big money. <clears throat> All right. Just for a couple minutes, we're gonna put um, bark beetle larva out instead of blood worms. We're gonna keep the maggots on. But instead of blood worms, we're going to put bark beetle larva out for a minute. We know blood worms have been catching a lot of fish, a lot of, ro uh, a lot of rough. But let's just see if bark beetle larva can't scare up one of these rare fish. See, look at that. It's starting to shake. We'll see if that turns into a bite. That's what it was doing last time, and I picked it up because I thought it might have been like really small fish on there. But let's see if that's like a nibble. Maybe these, um, maybe these uh, barbatulas nibble for a minute before they get on the line. I mean, something's going on. Could be another crucian or something. Small crucian, small roach. Roach. Is 
Is it still shaking? It is. But I could also see that just being like a little glitchy glitch or something. And we're going. How much how much silver? 145. I will take it. I will take it. Now, how quickly can we get back down there? Pretty quick. Uh, it's crazy. You can see them from here. Two of them are going off. All right, let's see what bark beetle larva caught. Not what we wanted. Is that a bream? Hold on to your pants here. Hold on to your britches. One more fish on bark beetle and then we'll go maybe straight maggots or maybe we'll put blood worms on the middle one again <gasps> are your britches being hold on held on to are your britches being I need to stop jinxing it. We're just going to stay calm. Just bring it on in. You know? No worries. Just bring it on in.
All right, I'm pulling out the bark beetle larva. I guess we'll go back to blood worms. Change it up a little bit. We'll try float on the middle one. Wait. All right, we'll try this one more time and then we'll switch to feeder back to feeder that was a large roach Okay. I must admit, I'm starting to lose hope. Hope is being lost as we speak. I'm going to throw these two a little farther out there. 
This one will stay close by. The downside is it takes a little longer to get them in. Uh, if the middle rod also has a bigger fish on, we might move closer in again. I don't know about deeper for these. I'm just not sure. Oh, yeah. It feels like they've got the fish are bigger when we go deeper, maybe. I'm not sure, though. It just takes a long time to get them in. Is that a large crucian? We'll go back a little shorter. That went longer than I intended. I don't know. I had a feeling nighttime might be the time, but it didn't happen. Or it's almost not happening. I mean, it's we're getting close here to it kind of being morning again. We're getting awfully close to morning. It's like, I don't even know what these little fish look like. They're kind of dark, right? A little longer, more slender than roof, the rough. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Okay. We are out of blood worms? Is that 
Is that what you're telling me? No. Oh, we're out of maggots. Right, maggots. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, and we are going through a lot of this lucky stuff. I need to take a quick bio break, but I want to uh, at least get down there and refresh the lines. You know, it could be an early morning fish. I, I had in my mind that it might have been more of a nighttime thing, but maybe it's not. All right, I'll be right back. All right, did y'all catch some fish for me while I was gone? It's a rough. That is rough. Rud. Crucian. I don't know. Man, we're nailing them. We're already over an hour and we're still at Germany. 
I mean, I guess this is just what we're doing this episode. All that talk about making as much silver as possible to start our club. And we're literally fishing in this spot the whole time, just about. How many bait fish do we have now? 15. Pretty cool. And we can sell those for decent silver. Speaking of, um, you know, trying to pursue club status. A dragonfly card. I don't know what's up with these cards. Those large rough, they look crazy. And it's also confusing because they don't feel like it's going to be a rough. <laughs> Our keep net's almost big, full again. We just uh, give it up for today. We can always try again next time, you know. I don't have to be too stubborn about it. Bite rate's picking up all of a sudden, but is that because it's 5.30 in the morning and some of those fish species that weren't active at night are starting to activate? Bream, isn't it?
Okay. Let's get a stopping point here. Weren't we catching the gudgeon on um, Bloodworm? Yeah. So it looks like it has to be 50 grams or less to hit that bait fish size. It probably says it, right? Next time we have one, it probably says it once that, because like if you look at the cutting table for fish pieces, any fish from 400 grams to one kilo, the offals are anything from one kilo to five grams. So I bet when we have a bait fish size, it'll tell us what the parameters are. I just haven't thought to look. That's a decent rud, right? Our keep net's almost full. I'm kind of like watching that. I was going to try to go till 7 a.m., but we'll see if... Um... We'll see if we even make it that far with our keep net. All right, I don't think I'm gonna throw these back out. I think we're, we're pulling them in now. My goodness. Last fish of the spot. I'm telling you for a second there. All right, we make another 100 silver. Yeah, 136. You know, not bad, considering the the main thing we're doing is, you know, I mean, we're just catching such small fish. All right, let's go get some uh, salmon roe. Yeah. Let's go get some salmon roe. We got 1,500 silver. Let's hope this works pretty fast. If it doesn't, we'll get, we'll, I mean, I'm going to give up quick because we've gone so long. I wish we didn't have to stand up here just because it's so awkward, but it seems to work really well. We 
We shall see. I think that's actually a perch. All right, what happens if we just stretch it backwards and then come forward? Okay, so it's like up high when we're like this, then we can just do our net. That is really awkward, but okay. This is a gudgeon. Oh, it's a shrimp. That's pretty cool. Is that what, um, is that what Jeff had said? Gudgeon during day and shrimp at night. That's exactly what he said. Ooh, large gudgeon. Um, yeah. Yeah, perfect. We need eight pieces and we need a total 222 grams. Now, let's go ahead and get that shrimp. We want shrimp tail all day. Yeah, we need these to start coming in a little bit faster. Even though we're just like not doing much in the big picture, we're still four, over 14 and a half. We've gotten some XP tonight. Not a ton, but we've gotten some. We're over halfway there on the consumable one. That's the more important one, although I'd like to get both. Just that little bit of extra income is nice if we're close anyway. Not a gudgeon, right? Probably a perch or something. Could be a really big gudgeon. What's up, rough? What you doing down here?
Salmon rose 15 a piece. So that's just like 150 silver, and we can probably turn it into more silver if we use the salmon row to catch fish. In the right circumstances, at least. I don't know that we want to sell the salmon row, actually. Bait fish are down to 18 a piece. Same thing, I'm just not sure. Oh, we could have gotten crawfish, a couple crawfish tails for 24 silver. If we hadn't finally gotten that tench, that probably would have been worth it. All right, that's counting towards the income quest, but when they're that small, it's not counting towards um, the consumable one. Same thing. We just need two more for the income. What are we at now? I gotta wrap this video up. Holy moly. This has been one long weird video, hasn't it? Not what I was expecting to do tonight, but it's fine. Good grief. Okay, so there's the income. Got a little bit more silver. Oh, this seems to be pretty tiny, right? Oh. One more and we're done. Alright, this will do it if it's a gudgeon. Well, this will answer our question. Alright, bait fish. Any fish to 50 grams. So, 50 and under. Bait fish size. I'm not doing it. Boom. Salmon row. All right, I'm out of here. Goodness, that was quick. So now we have our 13 salmon row.
A bleak. So those large gudgeon, you couldn't even use those for bait fish because they're too heavy. All right. Hey, listen, I got to head out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We're trying to figure out these weird last couple fish species on Germany. We're getting close. Also, we just didn't love the daily quest on Thousand Islands and NSA. So that was part of it. But I'm glad we got what we got done. It's always fun playing this game. I'm loving it. Uh, I will see you next time. Peace out.